what's up students welcome back to my channel students i am back with a new video in this video topic i will discuss about the biochemistry of the special products which are derived from the amino acids i will go through a small description of these products the synthesis reaction steps and a few main functions of the amino acid derived products within this video i have a few important questions regarding this topic so do not skip the video and watch till the end to get the answers of important questions regarding this topic okay let's start let's try to understand the biochemistry of the special products which are derived from the amino acids many compounds or the products are derived from the amino acids by the specific reactions but in this video i will only talk about the creatine glutathione and the nitric oxide which are the special products formed from the amino acids let's start from the creatine 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 is the compound that is derived from the amino acid creatine is produced within the liver from the glycine arginine and s adenosyl methionine it is the product that is formed from the amino acid glycine arginine and s adenosyl methionine within the liver so the formation of the creatine occurs in the liver here is the reaction step by which the creatine is formed from these amino acids in this reaction step glycine combined with the arginine to form ornithine and guanidine acetoacetate after this the methylation reaction by s adenosyl methionine give the product creatine within the liver so this is the reaction step in which the glycine arginine and s adenosyl methionine are involved the re reaction product of this pathway is the creatine which is the special product derived from the amino acid large amount of the creatine is present in the muscle and the brain cell in the form of creatine phosphate for the formation of the creatine phosphate creatine phosphate formed when atp phosphorylate creatines to form the creatine phosphate this reaction is catalyzed by the creatine kinase enzyme here is the atp is converted into the adp and the creatine kinase enzyme catalyze this reaction to form the creatine phosphate large amount of creatine is present within the muscle and the brain cell in this form of the creatine that is creatine phosphate creatine provides a small reservoir of the high energy phosphate particularly during the early stages of the exercise then the creatine phosphate spontaneously cyclizes forming creatinine which is excreted out by the kidney so this is the small description the reaction step and a few main, main functions of the creatine within the body moving forward is the special product that is glutathione glutathione is a tripeptide which is composed of three amino acids cysteine glycine and glutamate it is formed from the glutamate cysteine and glycine by the sequential addition of the cysteine to glutamate followed by the addition of the glycine so this is the reaction step for the formation of the glutathione glutathione biosynthesis involve two atp dependent steps in the first step the gamma glutamate and the cysteine are involved this conversion requires the enzyme glutamate cysteine ligase which is also called glutamate cysteine synthase this is the enzyme that catalyze the glutamate into the gamma glutamyl cysteine the cysteine and glutamate are involved in the first step in the second step the glycine is added to the glutamyl cysteine to form the glutathione this reaction step is catalyzed by the glutathione synthetase here this is also atp dependent reaction the first reaction is the rate limiting step of the glutathione synthesis so the reaction that is catalyzed by the glutamate glutamate cysteine ligase or glutamate cysteine synthetase is the rate limiting step of the 
glutathione formation. Now the functions of the glutathione. If we talk about the main or primary functions of the glutathione, we will know that glutathione is often referred to as the body's master antioxidant. It is present within the liver. It serves to protect the body from the reducing agents. Here is the structure of the glutathione. It has SH group, sulfohydryl group that acts like fly paper and all the bad things in the body stick onto it, including free radicals and toxins like mercury and other heavy metals. It is also involved in the oxidized proteins to reduction. So it is also serve as the reduction of the oxidized proteins within the body. As it has sulfohydryl group, glutathione are used to reduce oxidized proteins resulting in the oxidation of the two molecules of the glutathione to form the glutathione disulfide molecule which is reduced back to the glutathione through action of the glutathione reductase. This is the reac reaction step by which the oxidized proteins are reduced. Another important function of the glutathione is that it is also involved in the transport of the amino acids across the cell membrane. Nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is also one of the product of the amino acid derivatives. Its synthesis includes nitric oxide is synthesized when L-arginine is converted into the citrulline. It is liberated out during the conversion of the arginine to the citrulline. This reaction is carried out by the nitric oxide synthase enzyme. It is a complex enzyme that requires flavin adenine dinucleotide, flavin mononucleotide, tetrahydrobioptin BH4 and other oxygen is also involved in this conversion the arginine into the citrulline as the nitric oxide is liberated during this reaction. The function of the nitric oxides include nitric oxide stimulate the influx of the calcium into the vascular endothelial cells when the cyclic guanosine monophosphate stimulates the cell membrane. This result in the relaxation of the muscles, smooth muscles. So it is also known as the endothelial derived relaxation factor. Various agents known as nitrates, nitroprusite and isoorbide dinitrate release nitric oxide once they are in the blood stream and thus used in the blood pressure control in specific or certain patients. So this is the nitric side that include the biochemistry, the functions. Thank you very much.